Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? We've got for you another gorgeous pen for your delight. For you regular viewers that watch on a regular basis, you remember a recent pen haul where I showed you this pen here. As you can see, it comes in the original box. As all the pens, a little bit tired, you can see there. It's also got the clip missing, so the pen needs a little bit of TLC. And after that TLC, here's the pen in question. What we've got for you, as it says there, the Conway Stewart pen in this original box. Uh, quite nice condition, a little bit aged, but it helps to protect the pen. But if we can open it, <laughs> let's take the pen out. You can see it comes with the original Conway Stewart guarantee. And on the back of the guarantee, it's got the filling instructions as well. But here's the pen in question. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't it a gorgeous, gorgeous pen? Look at that. Absolutely lovely. What we've got for you here is the Conway Stewart number 58. And the pattern is the very desirable tiger eye pattern. Absolutely stunning. The size of this pen is 128 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely 12 millimeters in diameter. A stunning, stunning pen. Now, the Conway Stewart number 58 pens, um, they came from sort of late, nine, very late 1940s, 1950s. I'm dating this one nice and simple into the 1950s. Um, this one, as we'll show in a moment, is what they term as the earlier model. Um, and they came in many different colours. They came in some gorgeous marbling colours. Um, they also brought out some nice, what we term as the hatch patterns. Um, they also brought one which um, I've got in my collection. They've got a cracked ice pattern, which also is very desirable. And yeah, they brought out this one, which is the tiger eye pattern which is also very, very desirable. Now, let's show you the barrel imprint, if I can see it over the camera. There we go. Now, you can see this one being the early one, it reads the Conway Stewart, and then on the second line underneath, it's got number 58, which indicates that, as we said, this is the earlier version. And then to the bottom, again, always difficult to see over the camera. I think there it is. You can see it says made, made in England. Okay. Now, as I said, being the first, uh, the earlier version, the second version had the number on the same line. So this is, as we said, the earlier version. Now you'll notice there, we now have a new or a replacement lever fitted into the pen. There we go. So we've put a new lever, or should I say a replacement lever. Now the, it's not, it's not an easy task. It's not a difficult task. The main difficulty is removing the remnants of the uh, retaining ring inside. They tend to rust and they're very difficult to remove. But after half a day, 
I managed to clean everything, remove it with, as I said, install the replacement lever with a new um, stainless steel ring holding it in place. But it's all done and ready to go. So the cap there, you can see we've got three cap bands. We've got this quite a wide one to the centre and then these two thinner ones on e either side. And then to the top, we've got the very re recognisable Conway Stewart clip with the Conway Stewart logo to the top of the clip. And to the very top there, we've got this black aluminium peat stud which sort of there you go sort of complements the end of the barrel there which is also slightly peat but as i said all in all as we've said what we actually did as a, well here's a picture there you go we fully disassembled the pen um you've got all the parts there the only part i forgot to show you is the pressure bar inside but everything internally has been cleaned and then we dis we assembled the pen back together and here we have it as i said fully fully serviced so let's unscrew the cap for you let's show you the pen sort of numerous different angles as I say, this tiger eye pattern, it's very attractive in my opinion and very desirable as well. Now, let's show you the nib. Okay, you can see we've got the threads. Even the threads, on all my pens, the threads get thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned as well. We've got the section, a slight ridge there just towards the nib. And then if we show you the nib there, we've got the correct, correct nib for this pen, a large, and the imprint reads Joro Conway Stewart, 14 karat gold. And then I don't think you can see it because it may be in the section to the bottom of the nib. It has the number 58, which indicates it's the correct nib for this pen. So a lovely top of the range Joro nib for these pens. There's a different view for you. As you can see, as always, there's the feed, er everything thoroughly cleaned and ready to go. So a lovely, handsome fountain pen a lovely size pen even with my large hands there you can see it's very comfortable to hold and to write with so what i've done i forgot my ink so what i'm going to do is pop back in a moment and we'll do your little writing sample so we've got our ink now to our right here Let's bring on our little pad. Okay, let's do a dip test. I'm not going to fill the pen because, well, yeah, everything is thoroughly cleaned internally. So I'm going to leave that pleasure to the new owner. They can then decide, you know, they can put their favourite ink into the pen. But let's just do a nice dip test. So what we've got is a... A Conway Stewart number fifty eight made made in England around about the nineteen fifties. Let's just do another little dip. Okay, it's writing very nicely indeed. Does it have any fleck as I'm writing? I can just feel a little bit of sort of sort of bounciness if you like. So do you know something? I would say I 
would say yes it does just yeah just a little bit of flex i would say there there's a writing sample so i'm saying it's gonna it's writing with i would say maybe a medium line um but yeah with a downward stroll a little bit of pressure you can actually see there we're getting a little bit of variation in the line so it's not it's not what i would term as a fully flexed nib but yes it has a little bit of softness it's a nice writer that's the main thing it writes absolutely lovely as you would expect from a quality quality pen so there we have it a stunning example of the conway stewart number 58 as we've said in this beautiful tiger eye pattern and as you can see in gorgeous condition so i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget down below leave a comment press that thumbs up there give the video a thumbs up if you will and don't forget to subscribe but for now i'm just going to say slavo ukraini and from me and this handsome pen i'm just going to say bye bye for now